Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to give an overview of the general settings that can be used to add functionality to your Accelerate account under the Settings tab. The first option is Training Categories. Training Categories provide the ability to group different sets of courses within your system. Training Categories can be used for filtering and colour coordinating scheduled courses in the Accelerate calendar or to group data for reporting purposes. This area of the system is also useful for online enrollments, as courses that are displayed on your website can be filtered by training categories. The next is contact note types. Contact notes can be created by users to store information or record actions taken on a contact profile. Custom note types can be created to categorize the notes that are used or automatically generated in certain scenarios to keep a record of actions taken that relate to a particular contact. This can be helpful for reporting purposes as note types can be used as a filter in some reports and allow you to return all contacts which have a note of a particular type. Next is custom fields. Custom fields allow you to add new fields to the contacts, class enrollments, student activities, classes, workshops, workshop bookings, sales representatives, and the contact portfolio and student activities. Adding a new field allows you to store further information that may not have an existing field in Accelerate. These can be reported on and used in templates. Next is contact categories. Contact categories allow contacts in your system to be grouped. Reports, workflows, and other actions can then be triggered for all contacts of a particular category. Similarly, organization categories allow organizations in your system to be grouped. Reports and workflows and other actions can then be triggered for all contacts of a particular category. Template categories can be created to organize the various types of templates that you have created in the system. A category can then be assigned when creating or updating a template. Moving on to contact sources. Contact sources enable you to identify how contacts found out or heard about your training offerings. This information can be useful to determine the effectiveness of particular marketing methods that you are implementing. The contact source can be set when creating contacts in the system, or you can also allow students to select a contact source during online enrollment. On to portfolio types. This feature allows you to customize portfolio types to meet the documentation collection requirements of your RTO. Portfolio types allow you to set up basic information, including a description, validity period, and portfolio category. For example, you could set up a portfolio type with the description Provide CPR, a validity period of 12 months, and a portfolio category of qualification. If you have the Workflow Automation Engine enabled, you can access this area of Accelerate by clicking on Workflow. Further information on Workflow can be found in our other videos. System users allow you to configure and customize information relating to users in the system. A system user refers to any user that accesses Accelerate with login credentials. Different user roles, permissions, and domains control users' accessibility of the system and can vary per user. The role of a user will also determine which portal will be accessed when they log in to Accelerate. Email content is where you can customize some of the automated system emails that are sent via Accelerate. In summary, this video has given an overview of the options found under the Settings tab of Accelerate. The next video will demonstrate how to add a contact in Accelerate. 